correction on the GT4 RS is done. It's still shocking to me that that has to be done on brand new cars, but inevitably there's always swirls and scratches and dents and dings from coming across the different boats and that kind of crap. I'm gonna go down and meet with the guys there at Tant Avenue and come up with kind of the look for the GT4 RS. I think it's gonna end up being some form of the satin and the gloss. I have the Tycon, the black Tycon in gloss, and I have the GT3 in satin, so I kind of felt like the it would be appropriate for the GT4 RS to be a mix of those. A lot of good things coming along with the wheels with Daniel over at Finspeed. I'm debating on how much if I want to go all in on the track setup, which would essentially be changing over all the components like the hub and everything like that, the brake, all the ducting underneath there to the GT4 Club Sport hub so that I could end up running an 18 inch tire on that, get a lot more rubber. I don't know, you tell me, should I do that or should I just try to keep it simple? The other thing is tires are really expensive. Who knew how expensive tires are? Just the stuff that I even used to use, which was just, I don't even want to look at them the Michelin slicks, but even just like a Hoosier R7 is now $525 a tire. With this GT4 RS, I want it to be safe. That's why I'm putting in a bar. I want it to be fun, obviously, but I want it to be low maintenance. I don't want to feel like I have to do a whole bunch of stuff to, to be able to go up and enjoy a track day with some buddies. So. So I'm thinking satin, XFL, gloss, then we're going to do the carbon look, right, Millie? Yes, we have a stack. But then carbon. it would be covered in gloss. You good with that? I don't think it's going to need it because stack is, is actually, it's not, oh, it's it not is. a vinyl, it's a PPF. Oh, it's a PPF. Correct. Okay. So it's so the it's, carbon. It has, it has weaves that go in and out, so it gives the full effect of it. How good would that look in comparison to this, though? you think it looks close enough? Very realistic. And this here, what I was thinking is, you know how the GT2 RS hood okay. has the two-tone? Uh -huh. It comes down like this uh -huh. and then up. And oh, the outside would be okay, gloss. Okay, this okay, part would okay, be... Okay, okay. All, the, all this would be all so. The and then all carbon gloss. All carbon gloss. Gloss, 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 stealth gloss so then i think we want to make this smoke like what we do on the other ones right yeah it's just the, the lux yeah, medium the smoke yeah, that's the one we have okay yeah. same thing with the rear indicators okay. and then we'll tint the sides legal okay and then leave the back because i think i i like the idea of the back being i just say my opinion i will stay gloss the full hood the full hood you think it would just look better or what yes okay all right that's easy i'll do that the paint correction looks good. He did a great job. These things look good together though. First time sitting side by side. All right, here at the house with the Neymars on. Waiting for Rome to come pick me up. We're gonna go down. The GT4 RS is done, wrapped, ready to go. So then I can drive it without feeling bad about picking up chip marks or whatever else you do when you need the paint protection film. Christian and their team over there at Tent Avenue did a bang up job. And they're actually having a, a like an open house or something like that today. So we're gonna head down there and check that out. Little Tint Avenue action, grand opening. They opened up another little location here. Looks like they're just popping off. Eighteen hundred horsepower, no big deal. I feel like the Astons look pretty freaking good. Oh, it's definitely a pretty car. What up, you man? Dude, this looks good. Yeah. That looks good. Did you guys wrap it? Yes, we did. What, what is it? We did still wrap like your vehicle. Yeah. All the way around the whole front. So they can protect the matte finish. Yeah. And the GT4 RS.
best looking wrap. I mean, a hood like this would probably be 12 grand. I think this wrap was 800 bucks, something like that. And it really does look like the depth. I don't know if the camera's gonna be able to show that, but there's definitely depth to that carbon. It looks good and now it matches the hood, ties in the hood and the rear spoiler. Dude. Wrap these. Wrap those. Dude, it looks fire, man. It looks really good. Thanks to the guys over at Tin Avenue. They did a bang up job. Now I need to bring the GT3 down and have them maybe do the the wrap on the hood. I don't know. What do you think? Should I do that? Feels good to be home, boys. Feels good to be home. Rowan will get you a little bit of a cold startup on that on the 4RS here. Left hand, actually, you gotta turn it on, so there you go. Mm, no, definitely needs an exhaust. That was not that exciting. So maybe project number two. All right, all right. Here we go. Here we go. Headed home to its big brother, the GT3. After 18 months of waiting, anticipating, specking, traveling, spending a shit ton of money, it's finally here, sitting in my driveway, paint protection and all, next to the GT3. It's a good day until I have to walk inside and tell my wife she can no longer park in the garage. So wish me luck. Until next time, peace.